Gazette Globe is an Israeli real estate company which owns shopping malls all over the world. Here to talk about real estate and retail is Chaim Katzman. He's the chairman of the company. Welcome, Chaim. Welcome, Greg. Thank you very much. Well, it's good to have you here. Tell me, where are the best real estate opportunities globally right now? I believe that the best opportunities today are in Europe, in emerging markets in Central Europe, Poland, the Czech Republic presents great opportunities for me. Uh, I think that Brazil is a great opportunity. And by the way, the U.S. is doing just fine. Let's talk about emerging markets for a second. I have a lot of fund managers that come in here and they say the trend is still that the emerging consumer is a strong story and that's a great investment. We're seeing a lot of emerging market stocks go down right now and a lot of unrest in a lot of these companies. What's your view? Is the emerging consumer still a trend that American investors want to play? I believe that the, the, the answer is yes. You're going to see ups and downs, but this is a long-term trend. It is not going to stop anytime soon. Poland needs to become another Germany or another France. So right now the GDP per capita is $10,000 per capita. It needs to go to 40000 sometime in the next 20 or 30 years. And uh, you can just follow that uh, trajectory and it's going up. Let's bring it back to the U.S. now. Who are the best retailers. What kind of tenants do you want in your shopping malls and strip malls? Look, there are two categories I think that I would love. One would be those who really gives you a bang for your buck. In other words, the discounters. So uh, the TJ Maxx's of the world, the Ross Dress for Less and many others that uh, the list is too long to mention. The supermarkets are very strong, been strong, will be strong. I think uh, Everybody goes to the supermarket, so they are very strong. The other category I would mention are the, are the tenants that created the real brand, because the brand controls the world today. On the flip side, which tenants are you the most wary of? Because you hear a lot about showrooming now, especially when it comes to booksellers and electronic sellers. People will walk into one of these stores, whether it be a Barnes & Noble or a Best Buy, look around and go back and buy the same thing on Amazon for less. You hit the nail uh, right on its head. I mean, anybody who is uh, e-commerce uh, vulnerable uh, is somebody you, you don't want and you would not have uh, in the long run. And I think electronics uh, is the one category that I would mention that is very much uh, prone to, to e-commerce and uh, I think uh, it's going to be a, uh, an endangered species very soon. Now are you going out and looking to buy more properties uh, after the financial crisis? Clearly there were a lot of uh, there was a lot of land and, and uh, properties to develop that probably were pretty cheap back then. Are you looking to add to what you already own? I do. We look for new properties all the time. That's what we do for a living. Expensive now though? It is expensive and this is why you don't see us shopping as much as we did uh, between 2009 and 2011. Between 2009 to 2011, we acquired throughout the world more than $3 billion worth of new assets. And I think that year to date, if we've been probably net sellers rather than net buyers. You've also been raising your dividend for the last, what, 14, 14 years. years or so? Correct. Um, I think it's about 3.5% now. Any plans to raise the dividend? Look, uh, I cannot give you a forward-looking statement, as you may understand. But uh, let me tell you that our business is very consistent. I mean, we try to grow our NOI, same store NOI, by 3% every year, which really is the, the engine behind the growth that we have witnessed in the last 14 years and we're looking for many many more years of growth and if we manage to grow our cash flows then of course our shareholders would uh, benefit along with everybody else. And then finally to pull it all together they say three quarters of the American economy the GDP is consumers what's your view of the state of the consumer right now? I think that the consumer is doing much better Again, there are pockets here and there, and not everything is the same. I think that the urban markets are much stronger than the secondary market. This is why you've seen comp our companies focusing on the urban markets. I think this is the story for the next five to 10 years. There's going to be a bifurcation. So the state of the consumer in the urban markets is and going to be much better in the next five years than the state of the consumer is in the secondary and tertiary markets. Thanks a lot. Thank you. And thank you for watching The Street.